Hello everyone, here is Kim Madsen, uh, live from Sweden. Uh, how is every, how's everyone today? Are you excited? Where are you from? Give us some ideas. Where are you from? We have the whole world here. Look at the chat now. This is incredible. <laughs> From Philippines to UK to Sweden to India to Ohio and US, South Africa, Malaysia, Vistulan, <laughs> this from Norway, Albania, Poland. The whole world is gathered here today online. This is incredible. What an opportunity. You know, this is unbelievable how privileged we are. We can actually meet now every weekend, every day, wherever we want, because we are at home, we stay home. And what an opportunity. I'm so excited because this gives us so much potential to reach even more people. But even better, it gives us a, 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 an opportunity to gather the best speakers in the whole world. We can handpick and put together uh, the very best speakers. We can get our uh, executives from home office to help us out, to show that we join forces. Um, and uh, this is an opportunity that we have never had before. Uh, every weekend here, we are now handpicking the very, very best speakers in the world. Normally in the rallies, they can say hi, five, 10 minutes, you know, there's, we have so much time pressure. Uh, and here, you really will get to know them, you will get their wisdom, and you will get inspired and motivated, so you can fly even higher. Uh, let's make some noise. I have my noise machine with me today, again, you know, because we have an audience today, <coughs> the audience today, as, as soon as they get logged in, will reach uh, on uh, computers, you can see under the participant, under mobile phones, we can see, and we are actually in the same time also live streaming. So yesterday we live stream and we're online with about 2000 FBOs and it has been well seen a thousand times after and today is exactly the same. So welcome to the whole world here online to this forever weekend seminar so uh, and <clears throat> and uh, let's make some noise we have some noise here let me see if this will work out uh, we will have noise here yeah <laughs> i have my live audience here in my office with thousands of people screaming of excitement. So uh, this is uh, clapping <laughs> and uh, I want you to scream yeah, at least in the chat, because what happened is that the speakers, we cannot see you, we do not know who you are, we cannot see you, but still we want to empower you, we want to make sure that you understand your true potential that you're stronger, you're better, you're faster, and you are sitting with a gold mine in your hands. So the only question is, what are you going to do with it? Uh, and uh, today, we are going to have some really, really exciting speakers, uh, because we are going to meet, um, uh, first of all, we're going to meet my sister, my friend, my forever uh, sister and friend. We have the same sponsor, but also we were super friends before. And I consider her, I love her like it was my real sister. And uh, you're going to meet Catherine Byrie. She is a forever legend and superstar. She still keeps a world record that nobody has challenged since. Uh, she did double diamond in only four years, from zero to four. She go to double diamond. This is plus 50 frontline managers. 
four years to double diamond. I was a little bit more than 10 years to diamond. And when she get diamond, she also did the last 12 months of all her qualification, 25 frontline managers. This is insane. Uh, by practicing her 90 day plan. And I'm sure a lot of guys here would love to know how to do that. Uh, second, we're going to hear from Benjamin Coffey. He's a rising young superstar in forever. And he is ready to go all the way. He is a potential GLT member in one of the coming years. Uh, and his story will amaze you. Uh, it's, you know, you have, like you hear your leader yesterday or whatever, you have zero excuses when you hear his story. We know that this is in this moment, we have some stormy weather, we have some challenges around the world, but you know, leaders, we love challenges. We get stronger. It's like the eagle, when the storm comes, we just fly higher and utilize the storm. This is what we do in stormy weather. We show who is the leaders, we show the potential, and you will see Polo, uh, that people will follow us. Um, so um, I can't wait to hear uh, Benjamin's story again. I have heard it a couple of times now. First time was at the Global Rally in Stockholm. Uh, second uh, or third, uh, we are going to hear from uh, our home office, we have uh, the manager, the director of the product development. She is the brain behind lots of our new products, our mask, our, you know, the, the whole product line, the new, everything you see that's changing in the moment is from her master hands. Uh, and uh, so this is Holly Stout, uh, she is, not only super intelligent and super competent, but she's also a great speaker. So, uh, so this is the slot today, uh, and we are going to have an amazing day this Sunday afternoon. Uh, you know, this is guys, th this is people that you normally will not hear 45 minutes training from on any rally or any, you know, this is, served on a silver plate to you guys. Let's cheers and have a, a, a cheer on that. Let me um, now introduce you to the one and only, if she's ready, I hope so, Double Diamond, Catherine Barry. Let's make some noise, yeah. <laughs> Catherine, 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 can you yell Catherine? Oh, right. yes. In the chat. Put Catherine. Yeah, she's there. This is Catherine Fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Kim. Cheers. Yes. Oh, gay. <laughs> <laughs> what a new way to do some presentations. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you very much for inviting me today. I know it's a big live stream, so no pressure on us, no. <laughs> <laughs> <That's only> a... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy to share my story and how I built it up my business and also what I implemented over the years. So I will share my screen now and so you can see the slides. Thank you. So let's put it on full screen. Okay. So my name is Katrin Bayri. For everybody who is listening to this for the very first time, I'm born in Germany, but since over, I don't know, more than 20 years, I live abroad in different countries. But I'm born in East Germany. And um, of course, German is still my mother language. So forgive me if I do any little mistakes in English. It's not uh, my mother language. I try my best. So I'm a Global Rally Qualifier, Chairman Bonus Achiever, Level 2, Eagle Manager Qualified, Forever to Drive, whatever Forever has to give an incentive. I was always looking to be in front of the wave, do it at first and then train it to my team. That's actually one of the principles. But let's go a bit, little bit back to, to the history. 
And when we talk about crisis, I can tell you this is a very short crisis. I've been in a crisis all my childhood and we could not go out of our country. Uh, we could not travel. We didn't have a passport, of course. What for? Because we could not travel. Uh, we didn't have money from other countries. So even if we could have traveled, we don't have money in that currency. So we've been kind of a constantly locked down. So I'm very relaxed right now because this is a very short term crisis. Trust me, uh, whatever it, it will come up, it cannot be the same like being there for almost all my childhood in such a crisis. So therefore I decided to step out of my comfort zone and just be a refugee and escape from East to West Germany. What I did not know that they would anyhow open the wall, but who could know that? I was never dreaming or thinking about this. So all my life and including now in this crisis, one word is always my driving force, which is freedom in many ways. And I think nowadays the word freedom got a new dimension and freedom will be very soon in the very first place when you ask people, what is your biggest wish? Freedom. So freedom was, drive, was my driving force at that time to really do a big step and leave my country. I don't know who of you ever left his country by knowing that you cannot go back. I did not know that I could go back. So I thought, I will never go back and maybe for many years I cannot see my parents, maybe, maybe forever. Thankfully, the situation changed and after some months the wall came down, but I've been that time already in West Germany. Oh, this was one slide. Okay. So, but still I'm, I did that step. I didn't wait until someone is doing any decision for me. I could wait and see, and maybe they do it, and maybe they don't do it because there have been some rumors. I just took my chance and did my decision. So I didn't want to put my decision on any other person than on myself. So I stepped out of my comfort zone and I uh, escaped from East to West Germany, which was quite dangerous that time because the wall was still closed. So it was a dangerous journey, but three months later, there was the light in the tunnel. So as you can see, if there is always an interesting challenge, there will be a much, much bigger light after that, the light in the tunnel, always in different meanings and in different ways. So you can bet on that. Even if we are in a, a strange situation now with a small lockdown at home, not, not in a prison, <laughs> at home, so it's a nice lockdown. Um, there will be a lot of light in the tunnel after this situation. So trust me, so you should use that time to think about, is this really everything what you wanted in life? Is that what you, where you earned your money with, your job, your maybe your, your small traditional business, whatever? Is this really still give, giving you the money and uh, the opportunity in this crisis? Or did the company let you down and you are not on a salary anymore or maybe on a 70% salary and who knows how long maybe you get unemployed. So if this is the case and you can say in this situation that was not saving me in the crisis. I lost my, my, I lost my job. I lost my income. So I have to look for plan B and this is the very good moment to look after a plan B. Just on this weekend, on this Sunday, think about it. Is this really secure what you did until now? And if the answer is no, here comes your plan B. The plan B, you need something which will be there forever. And we will speak about it, about forever, forever living products. And so you can trust on this that your money is coming month by month so you can feed your family and you can pay your bills. So there is no time to waste now. There's time to step out and work on your plan B. It can be part-time or full-time. Anyhow, we're all at home, so we can do it from home, online, and this is fantastic. So what I did that time, I stepped out of my comfort zone 
and I decided that should replace all my little part-time incomes and I want to have just one main income and therefore I didn't have any excuse even I was living in a town I was not living before I didn't know people just my cousin who never did the business until today so I, I really did know nobody but somehow I got in touch with people because my goal was high enough. My desire was high enough to be not depending from anybody. I wanted to be my own boss. So building up my business with a network marketing business, which lasts forever. So I found forever on the 4th of July, 1999. And I decided after six weeks latest, I want to be manager because that meant I have between 1,500 to 2,000 euro each month. And this was the money I could live from. So I've, I laser focused everything on this goal. And if you really laser focus, not just focus, laser focus on that, what you want and everything left and right, you just put away you will get there, trust me. You just have to put all your energy in one direction with a laser focus. So after six weeks, I had 13 front lines. And out of these 13 front lines, that actually became a habit. Every month I sponsored at least 10 front lines. So in six weeks, I had 13, one, three front lines. And out of these 13 front lines, I created the volume to become a manager in forever with 120 case credits in two consecutive months. And also I stepped immediately into the car program because I wanted this four, six or 800 euro extra on top of my manager income. So after four months, after being a manager, I already worked on my car level one while going manager. And after four months, I was even in car level two. So that means after four months, after my start, I had 600 euro extra plus my manager income. So that was around 2,500, 2,600 euro by month. And that was enough to, to live from this money and focus and concentrate on building uh, my business by creating new frontline managers. I was also senior manager after four months. So out of this first 13 frontlines, two of them became manager at the same time actually because the more you sponsor the more uh, managers come out at the same time this is the secret why it was so many managers within 12 months from diamond to double diamond so after having two managers i went to soaring so i wanted to also qualify for the company's profit share now it's called chairman's bonus so after the, my first seven months i qualified for the very first time for my chairman bonus level one. And I lifted up my car level forever to drive to the level three, which meant from the, the seventh month on, I had 800 euro extra every single month for forever to drive level three. So my income was quite amazing after seven months. And of course I showed this excitement to everybody. So as you can see, if you have a, a certain speed in the moment you build up, people will follow you because they want to see results. If it takes too long and people cannot see results, what do you want to tell them? How long they will need to become a manager? Because they want to know how can I make 2000 by month? How long will it take me so I can quit? Or can I replace my income for the moment? Can I be a manager in three months in 90 days? Uh, so I don't need any uh, support or any 70% income from somebody I'm depending from anymore. So this is your way to freedom. And you can be manager between full time six weeks and 12 weeks part time. So in 90 days, part time, you can become a manager, you can be in the car levels two and three after half a year after seven months. So this is a very secure inter income already in a little bit more than six months. So in my case, it was in seven months. So my laser focus never went away from the next goal. And I didn't hear left and right. I, I just had a tunnel view and I just looked to the next goal, what I wanted to reach. And that was, one moment. I think that was too fast. Yeah, 
after 14 months, I raised the number of first line managers from five as a soaring manager to nine as a Sapphire manager. And of course, as you know, who is already a forever business owner, there the big money starts. When you're a Sapphire manager and above, you get a 1% extra bonus on all your manager businesses. And this makes a huge difference. So this is where the real financial freedom starts, Sapphire manager. I've been there in the year of 2000 after 14 months in the business. And having nine uh, managers for Sapphire in 2001, I had 17 front lines. And the, for the first time I qualified for the US Super Rally that time and also for the European Rally in London. And I had this time already chairman bonus level two. So remember in the page before I had chairman bonus level one, but immediately the next year I had chairman bonus level two, why? because I was building up managers and helping them to build managers under them. So I was creating and building chairman bonus manager legs because that was my goal, because I understood if you qualify for all the incentive, which forever has to give you, then I can show that to my team, but I have to lead by example. I have to lead from the front. So finally in 2002, I had 25 frontline managers. This was after two and a half years around and I became the fastest diamond manager in the world. And as far as I know, I'm still the only one who did that in two and a half years right from the scratch. Um, I don't know about my friends in Japan. Sometimes we don't get these figures there, but as far as I know, there is nobody else who did that. And if I can do it as a refugee with no, knowing nobody in my town, everybody can do it if you stay laser focused to your goals. So and then, then was in a so-called momentum. So I had people who says, have said no to me in the first two and a half years. I had people who wanted at first to test the products and not join the business. So all these people have been in my non-manager group, which has been around 600 non-manager CC by months. So that was a big potential for developing leaders out of this big non-manager group. So what I prepared the first two and a half years ended in being becoming a double diamond manager after another 12 months, because all these big non-manager groups have been ready to work with me for 90 days and go manager. So actually that was almost in half of the time because the preparation was before. So in total was like less than four years together uh, becoming a double diamond manager. And as far as I know, until now, there's nobody who did it in that momentum. Momentum is a big word in network marketing. We can create our own momentum. So it doesn't have to do with the speed of the and the growth of the company, with other teams, even not with your own team, just with you and your front lines. You can create your own momentum. And this I call the totally independency because this marketing plan gives us the freedom to set the bar higher than any others around us. So while maybe others are still thinking, we can create our own momentum and creating a momentum, this is where the huge duplication starts and your financial freedom starts to kick in. So since that, I can say I enjoyed a lot of benefits of network ma of my network marketing business and a joyful living around the world. I, as I love traveling, uh, I decided to every three to five years to change the place where I live to get to know other countries, cultures and people. So at first I was living in Monaco from 2006 to 2012, I think. Uh, since that time, I live in Dubai. So from there, I started my international business. But uh, because I also like the nature, I have a second home in Austria. And who knows where else I will have another home where I like the people, the nature, the mentality, the way of working there. So this is the total freedom we have in our business. We can decide where we want to live because we can do this business online from any place in this world and for the moment from 
our the place we are locked down wherever that is for you so what forever means to me in the very first place financial freedom so i can say after two and a half years i was already totally financial free and this is amazing if you compare that to other businesses or being an employee for 40 years where we where you never get financial freedom so it doesn't take too long to create your own financial freedom with our company uh, if you stay laser focused on this goal also because our amazing products i have a healthy and joyful lifestyle because i'm the best customer uh, of that product i guess so i'm taking everything what we have and of course if you don't have financial if you have financial freedom and good health which is getting more and more important nowadays then you also have a peace of mind traveling the world was always my passion and so i combined it many times with being a guest speaker in certain countries and also visit this country so i combined my business and my hobby and i'm very much enjoying that talking about chairman bonus this is something very unique and generous what forever has to offer <coughs> sorry and here are just some of the checks from the recent years so like 2014 100,000, I think that was in Singapore, uh, 98,000 in Dubai, 2015, that was, I think, in South Africa, 99,000, in 2016, 96,000, and so on. So this is an annual extra bonus, level two, and I was in level two of, in my second year of my business and never fell out of level two. So I, I went there and I never fell out of level two. I even had sometimes an additional level, level three for the 40 years of forever anniversary in Dallas. On, in 2018, I became a chairman bonus on the turnover of 2017 of almost quarter a million US dollars, more than 230,000. US dollars, and that was a level three check, but I never went out of level two. So it's amazing what we additional to the monthly income can reach and uh, create our financial future for more investments, whatever, with this eight, uh, uh, 13th month income. So you see the latest one here from Stockholm in Sweden, 2019. So a level two check with 121,000. And let's see what we get after Easter when we get our 2020 chairman bonus check. In my case, it will be another level two check. So this is an amazing, generous company who give a part of their company profits each year to the qualified chairman bonus managers. How was it possible to get there and to always qualify for all the incentives? With a laser-focused mindset, you can change your business dramatically and drastically within just 12 months. But you need to be laser-focused on your goal. So this is one of the tools I've been using for my own mindset. So positive energy to grow, to grow your business. What did I do to create uh, a new wave of of growth, searching for new customers, looking for new people who will recommend me and my business, recruiting new team partners with new methods. So also as leaders, we have to stay updated and also reinvent ourselves new and take new tools on board and not just do the things we did 20 years ago. So if we want new business, we need to do more new things. All right, so a famous part of my business building is my so-called ABC system. It's very simple so that a part-timer with one to two hours per day can do it and be successful with that. 
The advantage of my so-called ABC system is that it opens new contacts in all levels and protects the lines. It means I'm not just working with my front line, I'm working with B and C under my front line A. So I make sure I'm not depending from one person, but I build up a line very deep where I know several leaders, not just one. So I, what a thing I really don't like is depending on just somebody. Uh, therefore, I was always creating more people I've been working with in one line and they all had direct contact to me. Sometimes even A, B, C, D, E and even deeper. So each partner has other contact circles, which we otherwise would never get to know if we don't work it this way in uh, to work out the legs very, very deep. So therefore we should try to sponsor everybody because you don't know who is your B and C, maybe they become your superstars. I have many examples where not A, my front line is the best one of this line, but people under him, sometimes very deep under him, even chairman bon bonus qualifiers until my 10th manager generation nowadays. So how does that look in practice? Let's say I'm the sponsor and I recruit my first line, my front line, A. So uh, I'll encourage him to invite uh, three, to eight, three to eight, to have three to eight guests. So therefore he need to invite some people more like 10 to 15 invitations. So we would have three to eight guests. That can be in his home. Nowadays we would do that online also uh, actually, it, it's possible in both ways. Uh, it was always possible in both ways, not just now, but now, it, of course, it becomes uh, a demand to, to do that online from home. So you can have three to eight guests wherever they live in one meeting and uh, the sponsor and yourself would be speaking about the business opportunity. So our own goal, only goal is to recruit B and to start building the team of my frontline A while sponsoring B and doing exactly the same with him like we did with his sponsor, with my frontline A. So it also starts to duplicate the very uh, duplicatable activities and circle. So again, the only thing B has to do is invite 10 to 15 people. So we have three to eight guests and also A can bring his guests now. So we are more people at this meeting and that could be online on a computer or on a smartphone nowadays also. More and more people can log in and B, the host and the upline sponsor would do the presentation and maybe A also could say already some sentence. And the only goal on this B meeting is to sponsor to recruit C. So you can see we develop this line from A to B to C very, very deep and you can go even deeper until we found at least two, three good future leaders. And I always kept the direct relationship to these people who became the leaders later. I was never just relying on A, I'm still having the best contact to people under him. So these lines are so secure that even nowadays in this situation, I don't have any loss uh, the opposite is the case. We have a big plus uh, the last two months. Um, there, because it's very strong roots in these lines and many people are having direct access to me. So they are not depending on just one person, which is good. I don't like dependency in many ways. So A, B, C, now we have three meetings done and A know how, knows now how to do it. So A can do it by himself now and I can recruit a new A and to do the same all over again. The same with B and C. So after they saw it the third time, they can do it by themselves. And what we uh, then can create is a so-called open house where each sponsor holds business opportunity meetings at his home once a week when each downline can bring their guests. So we would do that online now in this very moment and uh, do it just uh, online open house. There's no big difference. So sponsor meeting with C, uh, the same like with B and A. So it's already a small duplicating process. And now all these A, B and Cs will do the same and do exactly the same process and that we call duplication and when it starts to duplicate they don't need me for this 
very basic steps anymore. So they're also becoming independent from myself. Usually we do that with home presentations, offline or online, doesn't matter, which take maximum 50 to 60 minutes. And the less people, the better, because then you can concentrate on these people and have a good follow up on the same evening. Let's say four to eight person would be the ideal number. So you can really take care about create a guest list with telephone numbers, mail address, social media accounts, and so on, because you would need that for a follow up, even for your downline invitation uh, with exact time and place and necessary information and make sure that your business partners are 15 minutes earlier and the sponsor at least five minutes earlier. Warm up time, five to 10 minutes to create a good atmosphere. Uh, tell them the dress code. I would call it casual business style. So that says it, how, how should be the dress code. And of course we offer our own products, aloe drinking gels, aloe tea and water and no other product which has nothing to do with our product range. So it's good if so everybody see each other. So placing the people around the table and integrate with new FBOs with short testimonials. So I, I also ask everybody to take a pen and paper and to write the questions down so we can go through it afterwards and not do the presentation too long. So better answering the questions afterwards. Always have a good look at the mood and attention level of your guests and always show the idea, the wonderful idea of network marketing with distribution costs, trade margin and recommendation. Compare to normal businesses, so network marketing YC versus a traditional business and explain the business opportunity. So you could do that also with products. It's the same system, but let's talk about the business presentation now. So how to deal with different characters in a presentation. Number one is the Mastiff. He is a pro he provocate, he likes to provocate, and he is always interested in confrontation. You can see already in his face. So this kind of people we need to ignore. Maybe ask them a question when they're not expecting and then expect that, and then it should be silent. The second one is a horse, is a, a positive and objective person. We need to integrate him, team up with him. That could be our next FBO. Sometimes the shy people are our next FBO and not the one with the big mouse. So number three, the ape. He thinks he's a wise guy and he's knowing everything better. And he asks, he's asking and disturbing actually the presentation because he always wanna say something. So we ask him questions and then he should be quiet. The number four is the host himself, it's a frog. And he talks a lot and he repeats continuously what the speaker says. So make sure you have um, arranged before how your host should put you on board, introduce you and what he's saying and what he's not saying. So that he's not extending the meeting for too long. The number five is the deer. A deer is uh, really shy and calm, but if we ask him simple question, we get him to our side and that could be also your next FBO. Even he's a little shy. Many FBOs in the beginning are a bit shy. Number six is the hedgehog. He's negative, he's rejective, didn't even want to join the presentation, but he's on every presentation. So I don't know why he's there. Maybe to just get a little bit attention. So we ask him, distracting questions and then usually he's quiet. Number seven is the hippo. He's not interested at all, but he always has to say something and he has his opinion. So we ask him questions, give general remarks on him and then he's not disturbing any longer. And number eight is the giraffe, snobbish and arrogant, want to be better and higher than others. So don't criticize this kind of people, but handle their objections. Number nine is the fox. That's the one who's always asking too much, watches and observes. So let him or her talk, ask questions to the general public. And then usually uh, this is how to deal with different characters. So the horse and the deer should be your next FBOs, even they are the most shy one here. 
So then after we started somebody, we do a weekly planning presentation, uh, weekly planning and coaching and mentoring together. So for part-timers or for full-timers, these are two different schedules. <clears throat> It goes down to daily planning, how many contacts have to be made, how many calls have to be made, how many one-to-one -one presentations booked and done. Also self-reflection at the end of the week, how many business presentations, how many product presentations, and how did he support his team? So planning is the key. And this could be a weekly planning to uh, uncover the contradiction between target and willingness and operating with effort. So we will like in the school schedule, we would ask when is your working time and when is your leisure time where we could build up your forever business. And then I can see how many hours this person has uh, time available for building up his forever business. So let's see how that would look if someone wants to do that part time. Part-timers have time in their lunch break. So let's say it's maybe between 1 and 2 p.m. in the midday. And this, this is the uh, opportunity to talk to people while having lunch. You could also be at a business lunch place and get to know people there. That's what I did a lot. And while having lunch, starting small talk, exchanging uh, phone numbers or Facebook Messenger or whatever, so you can contact this person afterwards. And part-timers need to have presentations after their job, let's say from six to eight. ABC presentations actually, so to sponsor A and to help him to build deep into B and C and maybe deeper. These kind of small presentations with four to eight people. So a part-timer should do that twice a day, small sizzles, small presentations, and also to support his starting legs, not just for the own front line. And then step by step, your schedule will be full because you're, if you recruit new A's, you need to do meetings also for A, B, and C in different legs. And in the evening between 10 and midnight, we talk about how it was for which results, what problems maybe, and what can we do better next time, daily reports, also managing contacts, answering emails, uh, whatever, and also strengthens the mental attitude of the new one and the whole team. <coughs> Therefore, the leader always has to be in a peak state, in a very high mental peak state to give energy to his newbies and his team. And on the weekends, of course, we can do training and meeting. That's what we do today. We can also run open houses. We will do that online now. And of course, we can follow up on contact appointments, do the plannings and phone people from our team to start the next week, let's say on a Sunday evening with some uh, reflections of some team members we are working together. So if someone wants to do this business full time, that was, was what I was doing from the very first moment on the since the 4th of July 1999. I was planning for my full time career. So I needed to do much more than the schedule of a part timer, of course, because I needed more money in a shorter period of time. So let's say between nine and 11 in the morning, we could take care about uh, things like sport, fitness, office things. So whatever is on the desk uh, and we have to answer or we have to prepare something that would be from nine to 11. And in the very good lunchtime, which is amazing to do, to go to places where people have business lunches, between 11 and 1 p.m., maybe sometimes uh, preparing to go to such places and do some business contacts on the way. So from 11 to 2, it's actually time to do some business contacts. Uh, from 2 to, uh, two to uh, 4 o'clock, that's a two hours block with the first presentation, ABC presentation, as I was showing before, with four to eight people to recruit the next B, to recruit the next C. The same from four to six, so which is 
the second block of presentations. And from six to eight, it's the third block of presentation. So if you have a lot of starters, front lines A, you will have a lot of presentations with A, with B, with C and their downlines. So this is the presentations we are talking about here. And from 8 to 10 p.m., uh, maybe there's already a big business presentation where everybody can bring his guests offline or in nowadays online. And so people from the first three blocks of presentation can come back again and bring their husband or wife or bring somebody who is important to them and listening the second time and maybe already have a guest with them. And again, from 10 to midnight, daily reports, managing the contacts, mental attitude and get in, ton in contact to your team, which maybe is doing already their first presentations without you. Same weekend, open house, trainings, meetings. So the difference between a part-time schedule and a full-time schedule is that the full-time schedule starts, of course, at nine o'clock and the presentations start not at six, they start at 2 p.m. So it's much more ABC presentations possible when someone has more time and want to do that business full-time. So that could be uh, the way you can build up your full-time income right now with online presentations. And of course you need to check yourself and especially employees who never had like business manners or somebody teach them how to, what to do when by themselves, they always get orders from their bosses. So they need something to control themselves to reflect on their, on their own, uh, on, the, on the last week and check if everything went well and maybe what you can do better the next week. So there, I have quite a form where they can fill out how often they have called today in order to sponsor someone or in order to sell a product or maybe to get in contact with someone from the team. How often have I provided my downline for FBOs and uh, for A and or B called and so on. So all the activities which are necessary to put in place to have a successful week, we have on a checklist and then each and everyone can see if he really did the right things um, to, to have a successful week. So a lot of activities, check up um, this presentation, of course, Booby has, so whoever like to have these schedules and checklists, you can have it, there's no, no problem. So the, the advantage for a repeated business, repeated customer orders is that a network marketing company should have consumable products. I say that because I've been in another network marketing before forever, which didn't have consumable products. And I can tell you the difference. It's so hard to start all over again every single month with new customers, with new recruits, because your products are not consumable. So thanks to forever. Now, since more than 20 years, I'm able to work with the finest consumable products from aloe vera made in the world. And this is, of course, a turnover stabilization. We have through consumable products, repeat business through committed customers. We have recommendations within the personal and business environment. We have, we have long lasting customer relationships because of high quality products and constant personal use. And also of course in our downlines. And maybe the month of March to 2020 was the biggest proof how important are high quality consumable products to stabilize the turnover. While other companies out there in this crisis bust or fire people or have less turnover, Forever Living had a turnover plus. And me personally, I had a big turnover plus in March 2020, which was a, a month of crisis. So what does it mean if you have such a fine, high quality of consumable products? People will need that. It's products what we need on a daily base. And then your turnover will always stable and it even will rise up. And the March was an amazing month for the whole world and forever. I'm pretty sure that we have between 18 and 20 percent plus um, and we have we need a, a higher production now, but it's on his way. So we know we are on the secure side. 
think big than bigger than ever. If people just think in minimum to get their bonus check out, they will always just earn minimum. So if we think small, if we think minimum, there will be no progress. For example, some people do the active 4CC status in the last days of the month that I call thinking in minimum. But if you think in maximum, then you aim higher than ever before. That could, could also mean you do your 4CC active status by the 10th of the month, <coughs> sorry, and then you have 20 days to support your team. So your own activity is done and you have 20 days to support your team. And therefore here you will create a momentum with, an, with higher goals and working for the maximum. What happens when you're just doing the minimum? So I can just warn you to not do that. The chances only 50, 50% 50 that you will make it. It's a really poor attitude and danger of failing. So even small failures will bring you to the deficit and it sums up that you will struggle and have to fight at the end of the year. Worst case scenario, you will even fail. So don't let these circumstances, this situation now, ruin your qualifications. There is no reason why we should work differently than before. We can still work online, we can still work from home, we have the same product, the same marketing plan. And now more and more people need an extra income and they need our product. So it's easier than ever before to now take the golden area of network marketing in this crisis and to build up your empire. <clears throat> Again, some other reasons why you definitely should do more than the minimum. The reasons <coughs> FBO is missing their goals, they are settled down on minimum. For the moment, let's say for the month of March or April, they just watch what's going on around and they, they don't do enough. So don't fall into that trap. You will regret that end of the year when it goes to your qualifications. So set your goals, lift the bar up, set your goals higher, and don't just work for the minimum, minimum. Otherwise, that also will duplicate badly in your team. So how you will achieve your goals in 2020? Planning the whole business year ahead with a lot of discipline, of course with hard work, but also with persistence. And then be a team worker. A team worker in my case means exactly that I do two by one meetings uh, live or online. And nowadays, of course, it's online all day long. So I help my new recruits to, to get their two by ones at least one to three times together with me, especially people uh, who have their own businesses. Maybe they have deeper questions. So I'm there for them. So. Uh, all day long we're doing two to one meetings either on whatsapp calls on facebook messenger calls on zoom conferences skype or telephone so but video uh, call is of course better than just telephone supporting my team partners deep in the downline so my abc system looking for leaders in the deeper generation i'm still doing that and i'm not stopping with c i'm i think working until 10, 12, 15 generation deep to find the leaders who are chairman bonus qualifiers, Eagle Manager qualifiers who stable, stabilize the whole line. So, and this is where you also duplicate looking for leaders in your ABC or DBOR system. So this year, 2020 can be your year. That sounds silly to some people who are still in the shock about what's going on around us. But trust me, this is just a small crisis. It's nothing. If you, if you keep distance, if you stay at home, you have so much time to work your business now. You will be so busy that the months will fly by and almost the end of the year is coming. So use this, I call it golden area of network marketing now use it to create your own momentum, start a lot of A's, start a lot of front lines to help them to build up B 
and C. And all your ABC groups will grow and get strong roots and will become your future leaders. So set your own high standards for 2020. It doesn't matter which circumstances. We are fortunate because we can work from anywhere in the world, from home where we are locked down now, with our uh, smartphone, uh, iPad, computers. We just need internet and we can work as we usually work. So we have the FLP360 as our online tool. We have some local websites like the German, Austrian, Switzerland websites. We have our online tools. We have trainings website with videos. We have videos on the YouTube channels from Forever Worldwide who explain marketing and products. So this is already online marketing. Just learn how to use it and to help your front lines to build up their ABC groups to get strong manager lines and then your business will be stable until the end of your life and then you can inherit to whomever you want to inherit either to your children or whomever you want to inherit so i'm pretty sure forever will be the winner in this situation when we all rise above average and when we all set our own high standards higher than ever before even the one who had already high standards can set it higher because this is the chance to grow out of a crisis. And trust me, this is a small crisis. I've seen other crises. So use your chance, get to your upline manager. If you don't know how, he will for sure help you. I can help you with this presentation, with this video. And uh, whenever Kim needs me to do more of these internal trainings, I'm happy to help. So I'm wishing you us all together as we are in forever and the one who is not in forever yet, go to the person who invited you to listen to this on YouTube and ask him how you can start with him. So thank you very much. And I'm wishing forever FBOs and our company and each and one of every, uh, each of us the biggest success in 2020 because this is our chance for the golden area in network marketing with forever. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Catherine. Give Catherine a big round of applause. The crowd are excited. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and uh, I just want to say, Catherine, that you have uh, a lot of people following this live stream also. And, um, uh, and uh, this, you know, what I love with Catherine is that Ordnung muss sein. That's a system. <laughs> And that's very for German. For many years, for, for many years, I thought that Catherine was only systematic and organized. But I also realized she has some blue blood in her. <laughs> <She can also. laughs> and, uh, we have had so much fun together. That's and right. In, we've been traveling on in the entire world together, and we've been actually living together in uh, Dubai. And uh, I can only tell you go to the night club with, with uh, Catherine and smoke some shisha and you'll <laughs> see how funny she is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. But you know this is what I love with forever is this the good relations we are getting. You know we we we, we love each other we grow up together uh, we uh, you know it's uh, even with many of us like Catherine has been here 20 years plus you know and and you can imagine we in the beginning I think we had three or four travels every year we had European rally super rally uh, profit sharing rally German bonus rally uh, world rally you know it was we I, I remember we counted we traveled uh, 30 days minimum a year. Can you imagine a company who takes away the whole top of their leadership, including uh, the vice president, executives, etc., and take them off the company for 30 days a year with everything paid and still grows. Um, so, and this is the spirit of Rick's. He wants us to get friends and to do like we do now, join forces. You know, Catherine, she has no clue 
who's out there watching her. Normally on stage, we can see and we can hear. And now we can only hear my YouTube crowds. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, and and all the speakers here, you know, they are not here for any private or personal advantage. You know, they are here to share uh, and and to um, and to um, show that we are, we are we are together. We are, we are strong, and I can guarantee you, as Catherine says, that when we are out of this uh, little stormy weather. Uh, we will grow while the storm is here, uh, and we will come out strong as beyond any imagination. Uh, and um, this is a time where we can show the world who we are and why we are in front of the wave where everyone is after the wave, why we are always developing and, and uh, you know, the, we have, the company is 42 years old. There has been a lot of recession and crisis in all these 42 years, but forever has been kept on growing. And like you, Catherine, I had also a growth in March. I just got my bonus recap. If I don't have ears now, I will be smiling all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a, a nice bonus recap. Uh, even from the Baltics, uh, I have the, a lot of, uh, I have more than 100 managers in the Baltics uh, and they had a record month for the last 15, since they opened 17 years ago, they have the highest CC ever in these 17 years. Uh, and uh, as you said, it's because, you know, we have to stay home and I encourage everyone I meet to stay home, why? Because then I know where they are. Uh, and uh, then we can reach them on Zoom. We can reach them, uh, you know, all our customers out there waiting for us to take some initiative. And next weekend, I'm inviting uh, Karina from the Faroe Island. And she will talk about how she do online product launches doing more than 2,000 euros at each product launch. Uh, this is crazy. So she's getting her customers, each one of them, not together, each one of their customers to invite friends and neighbors and colleagues, whoever, online. To, so if she has like 50 customers, she has 50 potential online product launches. Can you imagine? Uh, and she just managed to get a new manager frontline on Faroe Island. We're talking about islands in the North Atlantic uh, with 50,000 citizens. And she's going for chairman bonus this year. Can you imagine? Wow. <laughs> uh, so uh, this is crazy. So now uh, I'm ready to invite our next speakers. Um, and let's give Catherine another round of applause for a fantastic presence. Some right here in the chat. This is the best so far uh, we have got, and uh, that's something. So uh, give uh, Catherine a big round of applause. I will get help from my crowd here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Kim. Bye-bye. <laughs>